terrestrial habitat the place where a certain population of organisms live is called its habitat broadly habitat is classified into terrestrial habitat terrestrial habitats are the habitats on land deserts forests grasslands mountains and polar regions form the terrestrial habitats aquatic habitat habitat in water is called aquatic habitat freshwater habitat marine habitat and coastal habitat are types of aquatic habitats deserts are very hot in the day and very cold at night deserts receive less rainfall in a year the organisms in that area have to adapt to tolerate high temperatures and less water animals like the camel rattlesnakes plants like cactus opuntia are found in the deserts camel has several adaptations it has long legs to keep the body away from the heat of the sand and also to walk easily on sand without sinking it has a hump on its back which stores fat as a food reserve camel can drink a large amount of water at a time and excretes very less urine it does not sweat they can live without water for a long time Desert plants also have adaptations. The leaves are modified into spines so that they lose very little water due to transpiration. Stem is green in color and performs photosynthesis. It is also swollen, covered with a thick waxy layer and stores water. Roots go deep into the ground in search of water. Let us learn that desert plants adapt to lose less water by performing a small activity. Aim to learn how desert plants adapt to lose less water through transpiration. Materials required: potted leafy plant and a potted cactus plant, two polythene bags. Method: Take a potted leafy plant and potted cactus plant and cover both of them with a polythene bag. Put the two pots in sunlight for some time. Observe the inner side of the polythene bag. What do you observe? Observation. We observe that the amount of water collected on the inner side of both the plants is not the same. Cactus loses less water through transpiration. Conclusion. Desert plants adapt to lose less water. Grasslands. The regions that have grasses are called grasslands. The grasslands do not have sufficient rainfall or large trees to grow, but not very less as in deserts. Many animals like lion, tiger, zebra, elephant and giraffe live in grasslands. Adaptations to live in grasslands. Animals in grasslands adapt to the environment. Some of the very fastest animals live in the open grasslands. Mostly, they live in herds. Most of the animals in the grasslands can run very fast. This is to escape from their predators. Predator is that animal which hunts and eats other animals. The animal that becomes food is called its prey. This also protects them from the grassland fires. The color of the skin of animals in grasslands is brown. This is for protection again as it becomes tough for the animals to spot them among the brown and dry grass.
Plants have tiny leaves to reduce transpiration. Roots are very long to absorb water. The stems are strong which only bend but do not break due to heavy winds. The mountain regions are usually cold, windy and snowy. There are many plants and animals that live there. Animals like polar bear, penguin, yak, seal, mountain goat and sheep are found in the mountain ranges. Plants in mountains grow close to the ground. This is to protect them from the strong winds as winds can uproot the plants. Some plants are adapted to grow on snow. Trees are cone-shaped and leaves are needle-like to ensure that snow and rain water slides down easily. Animals have several adaptations. They have thick fur to tolerate the cold winds. Some animals like snow leopard have fur on its feet and toes to walk on snow. Mountain goats have very strong hooves to run up the rocky slopes on the mountains. The yak breaks ice and its horns. The lungs of some animals are also adapted to combat the low oxygen content on the mountains. Animals undergo hibernation or migrate to warm areas. Marine Habitat Marine habitat includes oceans and seas. Animals like a tiny plankton, whales, blue whales, crabs, starfish, Octopus and seaweeds are found in seas and oceans. Adaptations in Marine Habitat Animals have streamlined body to help easy movement in water. Animals like octopus live in the seabed and catch the prey that comes near to it. Their body is not streamlined but make it like that while they move. Almost all the animals that live in water have gills to use dissolved oxygen. Animals like dolphins and whales do not have gills but have blow holes on the upper parts of their heads. They come up the water, breathe and go under water at regular intervals. They can live inside water without breathing for a long time. Freshwater habitat. Freshwater habitat includes rivers, ponds and lakes. Animals like fish, frogs and ducks and plants like lotus, water lily are found in fresh water. Adaptations in freshwater habitat. Plants that live in water have long stems and are hollow and light. Roots are reduced in size and hold the plant in place. Leaves have a wax coating that prevents from rotting. Leaves and flowers float on water. In plants that are totally submerged in water, leaves are thin and ribbon-like. Animals like ducks have webbed feet with which they can swim easily on water. Fish have gills with which they respire. Frogs can live both in water and on land. They also have webbed feet. Coastal Habitat Coast is the region where the land meets the sea. Estuaries are the places where the fresh water mixes with the sea water. Many animals and plants make estuary their habitat. Mangrove plants grow extensively in this region. Crabs and oysters are also found here. Mangroves have roots which are above the ground and have the ability to filter salt water. Leaves excrete salt. Coral reef. They are rock-like structures formed from the skeletons of ocean animals called corals. They provide shelter for numerous marine organisms.